Thanks for dropping in. On today's episode, we're going to be putting a headlight switch on our Segway X260. After putting only about 30 miles on the bike, the first modification I chose to do was put a headlight switch in so I can turn on and off the headlight when I need it. Most of my riding is done during the day, so I'm hoping by putting this switch in, it will allow me to shut the light off during the day and save energy in the battery. I mostly ride in sport mode with all the settings in the app turned up and the regen braking turned off. I'm hoping by putting this switch in I'll save more energy in the battery so I can spend more time riding instead of lighting. After I made up my mind that this was the project I was going to take on, I did a lot of research and found a really cool video made by I Work For Bud Light. Thumbs up. It was a great video and inspired me to look further. The switch that he recommended was not in stock, so I researched some more and found this one on eBay. It's actually illuminated, and I think it's going to be a great fit to the bike. This switch is a great option because it's plug and play. There's no clipping of wires, there's no drilling for other little switches. This switch mounts right on the handlebars. It's a nice clean installation. Here's a little note from the seller. As you can see right around here, this area illuminates when it's plugged in. It should be easy to see at night. Here's a close-up of the plugs. It's literally plug-and-play. And another close-up of the switch itself. In case anybody was interested, I measured it. And overall length, it's about 24 inches, but you have about 22 inches of cable length. We're going to need three tools for this project. We're going to need a 2 millimeter Allen, a 4 millimeter Allen, and a pair of pliers. A needle nose or a thin pair of pliers will do. You're going to be reaching in here, and there's a C-clip here on this pin and a C-clip here on this pin. You're going to reach in and pull both of those off. Now's a good time to turn the breaker off and disconnect the battery to avoid any short circuits. We're going to start by removing the pins from either side of the battery cover. Once you have those removed, go ahead and take the battery cover off. A lot of methods have been putting switches in the top of the battery cover by drilling a hole in it, but I prefer this method better. Next we'll be using our 4mm Allen wrench to remove the screws from the ignition assembly to allow access to the wires below. Now that we have access, this is the ignition circuit. We're not going to plug in here. We're going to look for our wiring down there. It's always a good idea to trace all your wiring out and make sure that you have the right circuit. We're not going to use that one. We're going to go trace our wires out, go down below, go down underneath, and find where they connect. The plug we're looking for is located right here under this protective coating. We're going to go ahead and slide that back, expose the plug so that we can see what we're doing. 
Now that it's been exposed, we can gently push this tab in and pull the plug apart. After double checking our connections and making sure they're the same type of plugs, we can go ahead and connect them together. Next, we'll plug the battery back in and give it a quick test before we button everything back up. So far, so good. Now we're going to go ahead and put all the little wires and plugs back in the little protective coatings and stick them back in the channel to make room so that we can put the ignition back in. We're also going to bundle these wires and make sure that they can fit in that little cutout that's underneath right there where you can see where all the wires are coming out. There's an extra wire in there so there's not a lot of extra room. So you really have to work and get those in there so none of them get pinched. I was going to mount the switch over here on the right side, but I thought it might interfere with the throttle. So I mounted it over with all the other controls to make it easy so they would be all in one location. Don't forget your removable Loctite. Now for the final test. Thanks for watching.